and welcome back to my channel we are back again today with another interesting video if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is Chidima I'm a registered nurse I live and practice in the United Kingdom if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back I appreciate that today we'll be talking about reasons why you should consider eating fruits in this present day life okay without wasting time let's dive right into the video so i've got my jota as usual i like my jota so in case you find me looking down that's where i'm looking at okay the first reason will shock you the first reason yeah i'm sure so many people are not expecting to find that as a reason why we should consume fruit in this present day life. So the first reason is for beauty's sake. Are you surprised? I'm not sure. I'm not sure you're really surprised. So the reason why we need to eat fruits is beauty. Beauty is part of us. Every one of us wants to look good, and especially for the ladies. Well, we don't joke about our looks, do we? No, we don't. So fruit consumption research has it that. Fruit consumption is very good for the skin. It makes your skin pop. It gives the skin what it should be given. So you need to increase your food intake in this present day life and avoid um, use of chemicals, the bleaching creams, and all the chemicals that are out there in the market that don't add value to your health and predispose you to so many illness in future when it comes to beauty so many people are been deceived that beauty is all about buying expensive creams um rubbing expensive lipstick doing um all manner of surgeries like suction um hip enlargement breast enlargement please don't call for me i'm not saying they are bad if you want to do them that's okay that's your decision that's fine i'm not against it okay that's fine. I'm happy with that if that's what you want to do. But all I'm saying is that we leave the basics and change the secondary things. One basic thing about beauty is what you give your body. What is going on inside your body. Sometimes the skin that we have, you don't have to do so much for your skin to glitter, for your skin to be bright, for your skin to pop. No. Just men eating fruits, especially the likes of watermelon, if you don't know, um, strawberries. Me, I don't like to take strawberries raw, but I can take them and do my smoothies, and that's the way I eat strawberries. So you can figure out a way to eat any of these fruits if you don't like them. High consumption of fruit, and because they have the vitamins, you know, there are so many benefits of fruit to our skin. It brightens your skin. You don't even need any cream to, you know, enhance your, your 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 skin brightness just consuming fruit in a, a lot of times is enough for you to have a bright skin don't say that it's not magical don't quote me that it's magical you have to give yourself time you know practice this habit maybe for nearly six months before you can see how different give it a shot and you will thank me later try to increase your fruit intake and you find out how your skin will be looking. You don't even have to apply luxurious creams, expensive oils, and you'll find out how your skin will be looking. Now, if you can't consume fruits, using them naturally on your skin is another thing. When you use them naturally on your skin, you know, one thing that people have failed to realize is that this skin has pores, and whatever you put on your skin, it goes right into your system penetrates through your bloodstream and goes right into your system easy access so you need to treat your skin well when it comes to beauty by eating fruits don't expose yourself to um you know cancers and all whatnot because of the things you apply in the name of beauty Beauty is important. I love to look beautiful. Everybody around me looks to look beautiful. Nobody wants to look horrible. So fruit intake has been researched to do what? Enhance our beauty. 
brighten our skin. For those of us that have acne, do yourself good and find fruits. Make them part of your life and you will love them. So another reason why you need to consider eating fruits is getting rid of constipation. Most of the fruits we eat are rich in fibers and they help prevent constipation. Not just that they help prevent constipation. In my opinion, fruits help you solve two things, not just constipation, hemorrhoids. Because if you're constipated and you begin to force yourself to pass two, you're also predisposing yourself to hemorrhoids. So in turn, you get to suffer two things. You get to suffer constipation, you get to suffer hemorrhoid. So we need to build the habit of eating fruits in order to help our systems. So fruits help us stay healthy, help our intestines stay okay and prevent constipation. Okay. So another reason why we need to take fruit. Oh, for those of us that want to maintain our shape, our physique, you know, fruit is important because it's very low in calorie, it's very low in fat. It is one of the, if I, high fruit consumption, if I was reading a journal and they said high fruit consumption is just a natural way of shedding weight. You don't just need to do anything. You don't even have to go to the gym. You don't have to struggle whether you're doing exercise or not. If you make fruit about two thirds of your daily meal, you'll be surprised in the next maybe two to three months how much weight you have lost because most of them are water-based. There's no calorie. There's no fat. Okay? So try as much as possible and make fruit part of your daily um diet regimen i know that there are factors that can you know make it difficult for us to assess these things like financial situation the cost of these things in our various locations i know but the much you can afford try to put them in your diet and you will love what your body will be giving you another reason why we need to take fruit is it builds our immunity we all know that fruits are very rich in vitamins. Fruits are very rich in antioxidants. And what it does is to build our immunity. If you have a very weak immunity, different, uh, during the different seasons of the year, um, uh, spring, autumn, winter, and what have you, whatever it is that goes on in the air in, in the course of transitioning to those um, periods, you tend to be, you know, at risk of having those things because your immune system is weak. It's easy for you to contract several illnesses because of low immunity. Let me give you one secret. If you want to make up for fruit consumption, if you want to form the habit of eating fruit all the time, just call a little child in your house and for those of us that have kids and tell them that, oh, do you know that fruit is very good for you to eat and you need to eat them every day? That child will never give you peace. Each day you do not take fruit. That child will continue to remind you. So try it. If maybe the reason why you're not taking fruit is you tend to forget, make a child your reminder. Tell a child that this is what it is and they'll continue to remind you and you'll eat fruit. Even when you take them to the shopping center, they'll remind you to buy one or two fruits for you to eat. So the last reason why we need to consider eating fruit is the big name, cancer. For some reason, for some reason, the rate of cancer disease is on the increase. Every single year, so many various forms of cancers are coming up. I don't know if it has to do, I've been reading a lot lately about cancer. I don't know if it has to do with the kind of food we are eating. If you know, just tell me in the comment section. I will appreciate that and others will benefit from that. The reason why we're having so much cancer. But in all those things I've been reading, one key thing they never fail, the scientists never fail to mention is consumption of fruit. And you know, the annoying part of the cancer thing is, is affecting the young generations as well. The rate at which young children are having um, cancer is appalling. So I don't know why, um, from where I come from, back in the days, from the stories our parents told us, cancer was not a thing. So we need to form the habit of eating fruits because there are so many, these are just, what I've just mentioned is just a few. There are so many, so many reasons why you need to consume fruit. 
you can head on to Google and type why you need to consume fruit. You're going to see a lot. This is just a few that brought my attention in the course of really one or two things and I felt I should share them with you. This is where we'll be ending this video today. I hope you gained something from this video. Tell me if you know other benefits or other reasons why we should consider eating fruit or making fruit part of our diet in this present day in life. Tell me that in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Turn on your notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you'll be among the very first to know that something is cooking. I will see you in my next video. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.